Welcome to Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In this episode, we are going to focus on performance analytics, where we are going to show you how we give you the tools and data to improve the performance of your environment with real actionable data. Performance analytics is available to both on-prem as well as cloud customers. Let's take a look at what administrators can see once they have configured performance analytics. The first thing you'll do is you'll log into your Citrix Cloud account and hit Manage under your Analytics service. Once you go into the Analytics console, you can hit Performance Analytics and start consuming the data not only for your on-prem environment, but also for your cloud environments. The first thing you'll notice is that the data is gathered across multiple sites so administrators now have a single console where they can view data for their entire environment or filter it out for a single site. At the very top, we see the user experience score trend. This can be modified and go back as far as a month. You can go see the number of active users and how many have an excellent, fair, or poor user experience. We also want to be able to give you additional information in regards to the factors that are affecting your user experience score. So being able to determine what is making that experience a poor user experience and giving you the tools that you need in order to proactively fix that, that environment. So really giving you the visibility that you need in order to make those poor user experience go up. So for log on duration, you could see whether it's the GPOs, the brokering, or exactly what's specific within the log on duration is causing the users to have a poor or fair user experience for you to be able to go and fix that proactively. And we'll give you that level of detail for each specific factor that affects the user experience score. So really give you visibility into your environment and make sure that you have all the tools that are needed in order to get the majority of the poor users into those um, medium or excellent score buckets. You'll also be able to search. So for example, you can do things like see all my users that have brokering greater than five seconds and add additional parameters. So, so something like GPOs greater then 45 seconds, hit search, and you'll be able to nail down specifically if the problem is coming from a specific location, VDA, or user group that's causing poor performance. You'll even be able to drill down even further and see why that specific user has a poor user experience score. Finally, performance analytics lets you have a comprehensive view at your infrastructure health. So if we go back into the main view, you'll notice a tab that says infrastructure. Once we click on that, you'll get a view of the health of your infrastructure. Just like with your user data, it provides multi-site aggregation, so you can have a cohesive view of both your server and desktop VDAs across all your sites. This will let you see VDAs which aren't usable or VDAs that have high load. As you can see, Performance Analytics provides tremendous value for both our on-prem as well as our cloud customers. It allows you to proactively take charge of your environment and ensure that your users are having the best user experience possible. Not only does it provide a comprehensive end user experience score, but it gives you the data to determine the root cause analysis if your users are complaining. It also gives you visibility to make sure that your infrastructure is being used optimally. Citrix Performance Analytics will provide user-centric experience scores, application and infrastructure performance scores through advanced analytics. It will quantify user experience and app performance and give customers end-to-end -end visibility on what is a root cause for poor user experience. Additionally, it will provide multi-site aggregation and reporting so customers with multiple sites can consume data from a single pane of glass instead of having to log into multiple director consoles. Performance analytics can be used by customers who have fully adopted Citrix Workspace. 
Additionally, full on-prem customers can also take advantage of performance analytics. It is also a great tool to use for customers who have a hybrid environment or are in the process of migrating to Citrix Cloud. Essentially how it works is that Citrix Analytics will be getting data from Director's monitoring database directly. This data is being pushed securely from Director to Citrix Cloud through HTTPS port 443. There is no data going from Citrix Cloud to your on-prem environment. So how does the user experience score work? It takes into account different metrics such as latency, logon duration, failures, and reconnections, and lets you as the administrator know what the experience for the user is. It also allows you to drill down deeper in order to find the root cause and fix the issues the end user is experiencing. You'll be able to proactively make sure your environment is healthy and optimized before end users complain about issues. So let's talk about how we can get started. The good news is that for on-prem customers, there are no new components that need to be added. All you have to do is upgrade your delivery controller and director to version 1909, or if you're an LTSR customer, upgrade to the next LTSR. You can be fully on-prem and don't need to be on workspace. It will require you to create a Citrix Cloud account to be able to consume your data in the Citrix Analytics platform. The only difference between cloud and on-prem customers is that cloud customers will get new features before on-prem customers because our release cycle is a lot faster in Citrix Cloud. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how to get started for on-prem customers and how to connect your on-prem director to performance analytics living within Citrix Cloud. So just as mentioned previously, both your director and delivery controller need to be at least in 1909 in order to be able to start utilizing performance analytics. The one thing that you'll notice within this director console is at the upper right hand corner we have an analytics tab where we're going to complete that configuration. And so once I click on that analytics tab I'll be able to get some information on performance analytics and here is, I'm also going to be able to agree to the terms of, and conditions before I go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that site. So I want to create that connection between my on-prem site to my Citrix Cloud account, make that establish that communication. So I'll click on connect site and we'll see a code pop up that we're going to be used to register our director site. You'll notice that it has instructions right there for you in case you forget how to do it. And we're just going to go, go ahead and copy the code. Now we're going to go into Citrix Cloud in order to complete that configuration. So we're going to go to the License and Usage tab, and then you'll notice that there's a registration piece. So I'll, I'll click on Registrations, and then here is where I'm going to be able to register that device, or in this case, uh, my director site. So I'll go ahead and click Register, and you'll notice that it's prompting me for that eight-digit eight, eight code. So I'm going to be able to hit Continue, see the information that is needed, and then I'll be able to just go ahead and click register. So with those three simple clicks, my product has been fully registered. And now in order to confirm that, I can go back into director to make sure that it was done properly. And you'll see that it's effectively connecting to Citrix Cloud. So now I'm able to start utilizing performance analytics immediately.